Hi everyone, welcome to Dan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the most suitable virtualization solution for our organization need. Before jumping to this key question, let's first quickly recap what is virtualization and then I will talk about virtualization solutions. So what is virtualization and what are the different types of virtualization commonly used in IT infrastructure? Virtualization means it is a technology, it allows to transform hardware into software. Hardware means let's say we have a physical hardware. Using this physical hardware, we are translating the hardware into a software. Software means it is a software generated machine. In other words, we call it as virtual machine. The same definition we elaborated here. Virtualization is a technology that allows us to create and run multiple simulated or virtual environment on a single physical hardware system. So here, if you notice in the diagram, we have a single hardware system. On top of single hardware system, we install the VMware ESXi. Using ESXi hypervisor, it allows to create multiple virtual machines. Virtual machine means it is a software generated machine. So the same point, it enables one physical machine like a server or computer to host multiple virtual machines or other virtual resources. Each running its own operating system OS and applications independently. So we can create VM1, VM2, VM3, and so on. Okay. So this is called virtualization. So within your virtualization, we have a multiple types of virtualizations. So let's talk about types of virtualization. We have a five types of virtualization. One is server virtualization, and second one network virtualization, storage virtualization. Fourth one is application virtualization and last but not the least, desktop virtualization. If you notice the server virtualization means instead of using a multiple physical servers, we can use minimal number of ESXi hosts. Using ESX, we can create a multiple virtual servers. It is called server virtualization. Network virtualization means whatever we have in a network environment, physical network components, like how we have a physical server, now within a server virtualization, we call it as a virtual server. Physical, it's automatically become, we are using a ESXi technology to make the physical resources into a virtual resource. Similarly, within a network virtualization, whatever we have in network components, like a switch in network virtualization, we call it as logical switch. And whatever we have physical network, have router, in a network virtualization, we call it as a distributed logical router, DLR. And in physical network, we have a firewall. Here, we call it as distributed firewall. Within a network, we have a load balancer. Within a network, we call it as a, we can call it as a network load balancer. This all features is comes within a network virtualization. In simple terms, network virtualization is nothing but a, it's a software defined network and the storage virtualization. Even the storage, normally we use a physical storage as like local storage, or in other words, we call it as a direct attached storage, storage area network SAN, or we can use a iSCSI SAN. When it comes to storage virtualization, we no need a physical resources, physical storage boxes. We can use a normal servers. Within a normal server, we can keep a multiple disks Let's say we have a four physical servers. Each server, we can keep a multiple disk. Grouping of all these multiple disks, we can make it into a one storage pool using a, any of the storage virtualization technology. One example is VMware Virtual SAN. That is the one of the storage virtualization. Even storage virtualization also, in other words, we call it as a software defined storage. Okay. And similarly, application virtualization. Instead of running the virtual machine on a directly on physical server or virtual machine, we can make a application virtualization. We can monitor from a centralized consoles and desktop virtualization. Even desktops also, we have a similar to the software network storage and application. It's a software defined desktop virtualization. Let me show you the examples for each virtualization. So in server virtualization, we have so many uh, virtualization softwares. 
for our easy understanding, I given a three examples. So VMware vSphere and Microsoft Hyper-V and KVM. So the same like uh, right side diagram, instead of vSphere, if you install Hyper-V, Hyper-V also allows to create VM. Similarly, KVM, kernel-based virtual machine, if you install, instead of VMware, if you install KVM, KVM also allows to create a multiple virtual machines on one. When we have one physical server, when we install a KVM on hardware, it will allow us to create multiple virtual machines. Not only limited to these three vendors, we also have other server virtualizations like Nutanix, EHV. We have Oracle virtual machine. Multiple vendors are available. So based on the customer needs, we can choose the specific server virtualization software. And coming to the another point, network virtualization. Here are the network virtualization examples. This includes VMware NSX, Cisco ACI, and also OpenStack Neutron. Not only limited to these three, we also have some other products like if you consider a Nutanix, Nutanix network virtualization example product name is Nutanix Flow. Okay. And coming to the third point, storage virtualization. Even storage virtualization have plenty of examples. So here are the some three examples. Virtual SAN, this is VMware official storage virtualization product. And Microsoft have called storage spaces. And Dell also have Dell EMC VPlex. And we can also use Dell VXRail. That means vSAN, we can run it on Dell VXRail, or we can configure it on HP SimpliVity, or we can use any third party HCA solutions. These all comes under the storage virtualization. Now, coming to the fourth point application virtualization. Application virtualization main examples are Microsoft App V and VMware ThinApp, Citrix, Zen Desktop. Then, as I mentioned, application virtualization is like it runs application in a virtual environment without the need to install them on a physical hardware. And coming to fifth point, desktop virtualization. Here are the three examples. VMware Horizon, Citrix Xen Desktop, and Microsoft AVD. That means Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. Even desktop virtualization, key concept is it allows users to run multiple desktops environment on a central server. So central server means it can be a VMware Horizon or a Citrix Zen desktop, or it can be a Microsoft AVD, okay? Now let's talk about our key topic. What are the most suitable virtual solutions, virtualization solution for our organization needs? Before we do the virtualization solution proposal, we have to do some assessments. Here are the key points, what we have to validate before we are going to propose or recommend a solution to a customer. So the first point is access organizational requirement and organizational requirement means we have to understand the size, what is our infrastructure size within our organization. Is it a small business or medium size company or large enterprise? Based on the organization size, we have to consider a one solution. So that size means either it can be small, same like t-shirt sizing. So either a small, medium, large, extra large, and so on. And infrastructure. So infrastructure means we have to assess our current infrastructure. Is the customer using a Linux environment or Windows environment? or any existing cloud integration, like uh, cloud integration means any of the hyperscaler vendor like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, and so on. So this also we have to do assessment before we propose a specific virtualization solution. And, the, and the, another key point is budget of the organization. Is the customer looking for a cost-effective solution or customer is willing to allocate the budget for a premium for advanced features and also additional specific mission critical support on it. When we ask these questions to the customer so that accordingly we can provide a relevant virtualization solution. So that is the reason this is one of the key metrics before we proposing a virtualization solution. And another key point is evaluate workload needs. It workload means it can be, as I mentioned, we have a different kind of virtualization. We have a server virtualization, network virtualization, and we also have a storage virtualization, desktop virtualization, application virtualization. When we are proposing a solution, we should ask our customer what type of workload customer is looking for. 
if the customer is looking for a server virtualization the server virtualization workload can be a application should be a monolithic application or it can be a tier based application or it can be a cloud native application similarly for other virtualization workloads okay so we have to evaluate the specific workload so identify types of workloads and application that will run on virtualized environment so any type of virtualized environment and another key point is we have this uh, specific match the solution based on the strengths and weakness of the specific solution so in other words compare the different virtualization solutions as i mentioned there are a plenty of vendors they are providing a virtualization software like we have a microsoft hyper v vmware vmware also leading provider of virtualization software we also have nutanix and oracle there are some other linux based virtualization also red hat kvm red hat openshift virtualization and so on all these products before we proposing a, any specific solution to customer first we have to compare the different virtualization solution and specifically focusing on performance so performance means we have to consider the performance requirement if the customer looking for a high performance features like live migration fault tolerance the availability drs these all the features if the customer is looking we have to choose the specific virtualization solution example vmware vsp if the customer is looking for this specific performance requirement and coming to another metric is scalability scalability means if the our customer solution when we propose one solution does our solution need to scale easily across multiple data center or cloud environment that should also our solution must have a scalability feature and last but not the least that is cost effectiveness it means before proposing one solution based on the customer budget we have to look for a what is the licensing cost and any ongoing maintenance cost and will the will the solution when the principal vendor will provide a mission critical support or not this all the metrics we have to include in our solution when we are doing a comparison between multiple vendor virtualization solutions now fourth point consider vendor lock in and feature growth so vendor lock in means ensure flexibility for feature expansion and avoid being locked in a single vendor for example if we are proposing a solution of vmware vspr even vmware vspr there is no vendor lock in mechanism vmware providing a flexibility even when you have a vmware esx a host till if you want to integrate with your nutanix hci vmware will support and similarly suppose the customer is we are planning to propose a nutanix solution even nutanix or ahv also acropolis hypervisor still if you want to run the nutanix not only on a nutanix physical appliances we can run the nutanix acropolis hypervisor on any of the other hardware like we can run it on hp and we can run it on dell that flexibility is available so we have to validate this flexibility if we are proposing a specific vendor solution either it be a microsoft hyper v or vmware or nutanix solutions or any other third party vendor solutions okay. and finally the key point is provide a tailored recommendation provide a tailored recommendation means here tailored is nothing but a custom made recommendation at any point of time if you want to modify our solution must be flexible solution to modify and rearrange or revisit and based on the above factors like uh, access organization requirement evaluate workload needs and compare our solution based on the strengths and weaknesses and consider vendor login and also key point is feature growth based on these factors we have to recommend the best solution that fits the organization specific needs in the following slide i will take an example and i will show you how we can give a solution to the customer let's say we'll talk about we talk about five types of virtualization concepts let's say i'll took the first example server virtualization if we want to provide a server virtualization solution to the customer we can provide a solution in this manner like a provide a tailored or custom based recommendation it can be based on the organization size current infrastructure and budget the most suitable virtualization solutions are 
for small to medium businesses, we have to consider Proxmox VG, which means virtual environment, and Microsoft Hyper-V or Scale Computing HC3. This is the small to medium businesses we can propose with solutions. For larger enterprises like a banking sector or any of the healthcare industries or any of the other retailer industries, if the industry is a larger enterprise, we could propose a VMware vSphere or Nutanix Acropolis hypervisor for high performance and scalability. Suppose if the customer want to do some testing and POC, those kind of scenario, we can propose a open source flexibility that can be used any Red Hat kernel based virtual machines or Red Hat virtualization. Even recently, Red Hat launched a open shift virtualization as well. That can be we can use for a open source flexibility. Even Red Hat open shift virtualization require a license, but there is a revolution period for 60 days if you want to do it sit out the specific how the Red Hat OpenShift virtualization is working. Okay. I given a few examples. Similarly, we can explore more onto the virtualization solution when we are proposing to the customer needs or specific organization needs. Okay. Hope you understand all the key points. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.